Right, golf shop onlineers, this is an interesting question. Which part of the golf ball should you look at when you're in a dress and getting ready to hit it? And I remember exactly where I was when I got asked this question for the first ever time. I was a young coach in London and someone asked me it and I thought, oh my God, I've never ever thought about that. And I wouldn't say, I couldn't even answer. I wouldn't tell you which part of the ball I'm ever really looking at. And the reason why I think this question's interesting is if you are focusing on the top, the back, the front, the side, whichever part of your ball you're looking at, and that triggers what you think is good shots, that's fine, keep looking at that part. But for most people, what triggers good or bad shots is not which part of the ball they're hitting at. And I get why they say that, because you've got the old head up adage kind of people used to say when you hit a bad shot, which is just it, for trying, let's get that gone, hopefully. You want to be looking internally, meaning I will have feelings, triggers, ideas of how my body move uh, will affect different shots. Meaning my golf swing and the students I have a lot of success with, they're able to trigger shots by feeling different moves, a twist of the wrist, a roll of the arms, a turn of the shoulders, a tilt of the shoulders, whatever it may be. Moving that focus away from the ball and internally into your performance, how you move, what speed you move at, what direction things are moving at is where the real goals the better shots lie. Focusing on different parts of the ball for lots of people doesn't move the needle at all.